Dear all, welcome to this tutorial. Let's see in a short time how to use Microsoft Publisher, the Office product dedicated to digital publicizing. Visit our YouTube channel and official website to get more content, extras, and in-depth tips for Microsoft Office. Microsoft Publisher is the right tool to realize anything that must turn into book pages, magazines, but also single-page advertisements and flyers in a very easy and intuitive interface. This starts from its home page, showing several ready templates on top and your most recent projects at the bottom. On the left, you can go to New to get the full list of page templates available, from custom templates to blank ones, with lots of standard sizes available. To see how to use Publisher, let's start from a blank letter template. The new project made opens on the main workspace, with all the tools and features available inside the ribbon bar above, and the big preview on the center, which is the place where you edit and customize your pages. You can also zoom in and out by holding down the control key. The publisher project, also called publication, is made by several pages, and each page is made by different kinds of objects including tables, pictures, graphic shapes, and text. The first thing to do on a new project is to set the page options and aids you need most. Inside the Page Design tab, you can adjust the orientation and the size of all the pages, and also set the margins to keep off the borders. You can also import and use any ready template with Change Template and add any page background if you want. Use guides to define green guidelines that help you at respecting the layout and alignment of the current page shown on the preview. Add horizontal and vertical guides and edit them to fit the desired layout you are looking for. From the View tab, you can enable other drawing aids which are shown on the preview but not rendered in your final project at all. Enable the guides, the panels, the text baselines, or the object boundaries in blue color. The ruler can be useful to check the page placement with real units shown. In case these are not correct, you can change these by going to File, Options, and then to Advanced. Once the page is ready, you can add several objects from the Home tab. Shapes are graphic objects representing lines or closed shapes. Drop any by clicking and dragging on the preview, and use the Format tab above to adjust filling, borders, color, and effects. The text boxes are rectangular shapes with no fill that contain text. With Draw Text Box, click and drag to create a text box, which delimits where its text content can spread and distribute. Then, type in and use either the drawing tools to adjust the text box as a shape, or the text box tools to set all the text properties such as font, style, size, filling color, and any outline. Under Text, you can also fit text with its box or change its direction by 90 degrees. Inside Alignment, you can set the text alignment, apply multiple columns, or safe margins within the text box. Use Typography to add any drop cap or special styles. On the Home tab, you can go to Paragraph to adjust the distribution of the text paragraphs, which are part of the text content you create whenever you make a new line with the enter key. Set indentation and also line spacing before, after any paragraph, or within the lines of the same paragraph. The ruler is a powerful tool to adjust paragraphs. Place the marker 
on the interested paragraph and use the ruler markers above to adjust its distribution. Use the left and the right markers to adjust margins and half of the left marker to set the margins of either the first line or the other lines of the paragraph. When the text box is too small to show all the text content, it gets red nodes and a dots button. You can use the first ones to resize the box enough or click on the dots to choose where to extend the missing text content, such as an existing text box, any shape, or a new text box where you like most. These two objects get linked, showing the text content from the first text box to the second object through their arrow button. These objects can be placed on the same page or on different pages. Besides shapes and text, you can also add tables after defining rows and columns. Type in its cells and use the Design tab above to adjust appearance, color, borders, text properties, and the Layout tab to manage the table columns, rows, and alignment. With pictures, you can import your own pictures or pick free ones online. Use Format to correct the appearance, add borders and effects, or include ready pieces of text as captions. Enable Crop to crop the image. In case the picture is not ready, you can reserve its slot on the page layout by adding placeholders from the Insert tab. These are transparent images that you can autofill by dragging any picture on it. This can also be done between two images. You can import external files inside the pages as you do with pictures. You can open these by double clicking on their icon. All the objects inside the page can be managed independently and in the same way. Click on any object to select it and drag it to move, holding down the shift key to go horizontally and vertically. Use the nodes to scale and rotate and also right click to cut, copy, paste, and delete the object. Go to Format to adjust advanced formatting options. In addition, you can click on Object Size at the bottom to get further information on the real dimensions of the selected object. In case objects and text overlap, you can manage their visibility by using the Arrange section of the Home tab. Use Bring Forward and Send Backward to set if the current object must be placed above or below the others overlapping. Whereas use Wrap Text to set how the text must distribute when the current object meets it. From the Insert tab, you can also import complex objects ready to use, such as page parts, calendars, page borders, and advertisements. All these are called building blocks, which are multiple shapes, text boxes, and objects grouped together. In this way, you can move and edit all these objects in one move. These are ready building blocks, but you can create your own ones by selecting all the interested objects by holding down the Control key, right-clicking, and going to Group. Within the building block, each object is delimited by nodes with crosses and can't be moved, unless you ungroup the whole block first. On the left side, you have the Pages Navigation Panel with all the pages of your publication. You can right-click on any vacant space to create new pages and click on Any Page to show it on the preview. To change the order between pages, just click and drag these within the list. Besides these standard pages, you also have the master and the catalog pages. The master pages are used to repeat their content on multiple pages of your project. For example, 
You can add any header, footer, or page numbering on this master page. To repeat these on all the pages of your publication without doing this manually on each page. You go to View and then to Master Page to show all the master pages available. You can also add any header, footer, but also any object you want to repeat. Then, on Apply To, choose where to apply the content of the master page on all pages or on selected ones. Use Close Master Page to come back to the normal page preview. Whereas the catalog pages are used to create full list starting from a .mdb access database. We won't see this in this simple tutorial. Once the publication is ready, go to File, Export to export it in several printable and digital documents such as .pdf, .html, or as .pub, to reopen it on Publisher and edit it anytime. Thanks for watching this simple tutorial. Make sure to check out our channel to find more extras and videos dedicated to Microsoft Office.